happy with the team you have. I know some of them are rather ugly, you wish you were more beautiful. But it is not a beauty contest. <laughs> it's ministry. Are we together? So the size of, of her nose is irrelevant. You need to find a way of loving everybody in your team. Why? Because God brought them your way. Do you know even in your mother's family, some people you wish they are not your brothers? Well, there's nothing you can do about it. They are your brothers. So bend it. It's bend it. The same thing with your team in church. God select. Sometimes you wish, why did you save that one? That which will go. Or she would be better. No, but God has not saved her. This ugly one is the one the Lord has saved. <laughs> you must agree to work with them. However, agree. Okay. I'm not communicating. So love them. The truth God I'm here, I'm after is, you will not be a good servant leader until you accept your team, you like your team, you love your team, that way you can give yourself for the team. Am I communicating? And it's important. For Jesus, we are told, because he's higher.
vision and mission such that the current job is just a means to an end. If I had mistaken being called a big title in Shell as who I am, one day they told me I'm too old to do it. What would have happened to me? I'm not communicating. You need to find some long term thing to do. And many years ago, as a small boy, I understood God wanted me to serve Him in helping people to be better than version of themselves. If you go to my website, you'll get my vision and mission. My website goes by my name, www.johnganga.org. And you'll see what I felt God told me then. So working in Shell was only one way of expressing my calling. So living in Shell doesn't affect my calling, does it? No. So you need that clarity of long term. Where what you do in Sitam is not an end. It's a means to an end. I've written a book called Discovering Your Life's Purpose. It's one of the most important, it's a small book, one of the most important aspects. Have clarity. Like Jesus, he knew where he was coming from, he knew where he was going. Washing people's feet does not disturb them. Whatever they think is irrelevant. But sometimes we are so worried about what people think, we cannot.